When I first moved here, there was a five foot by seven foot uh, foundation in the corner of the orchard, and it was a good foundation, so I wanted to make use of it. So I decided to make a feed shed right here because I needed one, but then I figured, well, maybe, maybe I should do something else with it. So I don't have a lot of space for guests to stay in when they come over, so we made a little tiny house. You can see there's a lot of recycled materials here that we use, uh, mostly mostly stuff, old rough cut fur that was denailed from uh, taking an old building down and old windows from different jobs. A lot of stuff that doesn't actually match, but that's okay. It seems to function quite well. Then we built a little bridge over to the trees for a composting toilet. Now those eye, those eye joists there, they, uh, they, I haven't cut them off because originally I was going to do a gravity fed uh, rain barrel system for the plumbing. But I, I've since changed my mind so I'll probably be cutting those off. So the bottom level certainly could be used for a living space, maybe an office or something. But uh, right now it's just a feed shed. But the top space is actually only 127, 126 square feet. But you'll see it's, uh, it's very usable to stay in. The, um, this here is part of the loft bedroom. So it's an extra overhang. And you can see here, this is a nine foot ceiling. And it's open on that side, on that gable. So it's quite spacious feeling because of the high ceiling and then here's another shot on this side of the the bathroom in the trees so it's a composting toilet it doesn't go anywhere it doesn't pollute the ground or anything like that those railings are made out of arbutus one of the really beautiful wood so here there's a latch or a hatch that can be folded down so if you want to sit on the deck and have more space put this this uh, nice big antler here to support yourself as you're coming up so you can see the the latch there and because of the overhang of the loft bedroom there's a lot of protection from the weather it's an old door recycled from an old uh, wood shop that was probably about 90 years old so you can see there's pretty much everything you need in a little living space little kitchen little fridge sink these are great you can't find them everywhere a uh, little stove top and an oven you can do your toast and fry your eggs so what I wanted was when you walk in it to feel a lot more modern inside than it looks outside. So high ceiling already, nine foot high, and then this gable acts as a closet. So you reach up from the steps, which you can easily reach, put any coats on that split bamboo coat rack there. And if you wanted to put your suitcase up there or something like that. And these lights are LED. So I also wanted any storage for future use to be over your head uh, when you walk in. So you don't see it right away. It just feels big and open when you walk in or as big as it can be. So when you walk in, this is what you see. Folding chair. Uh, we, we have games and books there. And it's, it's all nice and open there. But then if you want to, for future storage, or you're going to stay here longer, we could put cabinets above your head because of the 9-foot ceiling. Lots of space for extra storage. Uh, these lights are just battery-powered LED. I still have curtains to do. Now, even this flooring is all various sizes of really old fur that uh, I was I wasn't actually going to stain it but uh, it was a little too rough to 
just put a wood uh, clear stain on so I I put a colored stain so the plumbing here you can see it's just a really neat place to sit and watch the animals and so the plumbing here um, is plumbed through this bamboo pipe straight through and it's just gray water so it's not hurting the ground or anything uh, and if you have a friend over or you're with somebody this folding wooden TV tray and a folding chair and then you can play cards and have a meal there and then just one cupboard is enough for the the use that we have or the uses we use it for Some decorations from Africa these are old wine jugs just to add to the recycling theme and I think it looks kind of neat decorations from Panama okay so like I said if you were uh, sitting having a meal with a friend or or um, playing cards or something you can fold this away here so you have more floor space it's just on a hinge and then it's just latched up there with a little rubber latch and then the bedroom uh, actually before I go up there I'll show you these doors where uh, I got a real good deal on them because they're really uh, oddball size and they're way over height so I cut them down and reinforced them and uh, they let so much light in and I use one and put some of the privacy paint on them for the bathroom and then this one here so and I needed something narrow and tall because I had an over height wall I think they were like I can't remember I think they were a full eight foot height door and they were quite wide too so I cut them down and reinforced them they worked perfect for that situation so here the main beam across is simply laminated with some pine shelving and also a lot of the pine you see here is recycled from an old bunk bed I stole a lot of the, the slats from the bunk bed to make the support so that main beam there is just a tree off the property and the rafters are are uh, milled lumber but they were also recycled and I wanted that beam kind of showing just to mix in different products this bamboo is from an old movie set now we have found this is a full-size queen bed uh, we found it actually much nicer to sleep at this end I make the kids sleep at that end just so they don't fall but uh, uh, I find it much nicer to have your head open at, at this end feels a lot more open and then here's a closet if you need one and some storage in this end of the gable Well, to finish off here, I'll just show you the bridge to the composting toilet. Now, I do want to do a fair bit more to this bathroom, but uh, I probably won't now that the bad weather is coming. But I do want to show you what it looks like. This is an old recycled, one of those planter pots that's supposed to look like a, a well. Uh, so, uh, I didn't, I'm not crazy about the decorations like that so I I took the top off it fits perfectly with a, a bucket so uh, this is a simple uh, composting toilet that absolutely has no smell whatsoever we simply have a jug of peat moss cover it up with peat moss and you're done uh, I would like to do a couple more things to make this a little nicer but for now this is gonna have to work and then we'll dolphin toilet holder there and the skylight on the top now that the bad weather has come some of my 
nice square cuts are have swollen so they're gonna have to do some <clears throat> excuse me readjusting and then this time of year it's not all that pretty and the chickens and the sheep have been eating all this down but it's quite nice back here Found somewhere to put that old carving. And this kitchen here is uh, just some old pine shelving that I laminated together. So there's still a few things to do and finish and I've got a few more ideas for it but it gives you a rough idea of how you could legitimately have what you need in 126 square feet. I really enjoy it out here.